What's good, everybody? Let me get a sip of this tea. All right, so today what I want to talk to you about is that we all have insecurities. There's no way to get around it, and there's no way for you to not have insecurities. Um, if I were to look you in the eye, or if I were to look you in the face and just um, tell you that I have no insecurities, that would be a damn lie, because I have plenty just like everybody else on this earth. But the beautiful thing about it is that it's my responsibility to deal with them and I can make them into, I can use those insecurities to my advantage as opposed to um, fighting against those insecurities. Like um, one thing that I was insecure about is like being slim, like um, I have a high metabolism naturally, so it's like no matter how much I eat, it's like I can't gain, I can't gain weight or gain the amount of weight that I would like to uh, see. But um, it's really my choice, like how to deal with that, because like um, if I were to look at someone that had like the amount of weight or like my desired weight or like the desired muscles and like body that I wanted and I were to, like, uh, judge them and, like, um, take my insecurities out on them, well, that's not doing a service to anybody. That's shaming the other person for um, what they've worked for or where they're at in their life, and it shames, it's shaming myself because that would make me not feel good enough in order to meet, meet that person's uh, standards or meet what meet my desired um, standards, like, in terms of, like, um, weight size, um, but it's really just, like, um, how you want to, like, deal with your insecurities, is that, like, how you can, like, make them your friend or your enemy, because, like, you can either choose to accept your insecurities or project your insecurities, and... To project your insecurities is just like in the last example I just said, is to like look at someone else that has what I desire and be jealous of them and like um, to try to put them down so that I can feel uh, more secure about where I desire in my life to be. Now to accept those insecurities is for me to like actually like put in the work in order to be where I want to be and even if I'm not where I want to be like I can look at the other person that's where I desire to be and like encourage them for having that so like um when I started off like uh working out like um like I said I was I was uh, a little insecure about my weight size like one of the best things for me to do is like encourage people that like are bodybuilders that like have that muscle mass and like have the things that I desire. Why? Because like that shining light, that's bringing out their better potential and that's allowing me to like see what it is that I can expand into what I can become. And like um, if I were to like judge them for that then that wouldn't help anybody out and I'll still be where I'm at and like just to like judge them would literally just like keep me in the same box and like prevent me from like actually taking the steps because like it's all in the mind like if I were to like soak in my insecurities and like uh, never believe that I could be th be at that place where I want to be then like that would just limit me uh, that will limit my potential and like what it is that I can do in order to get to where I need to be. So it's really up to you like how you want to handle your insecurities. I mean like everyone has them. Um, the best thing we can do for each other is like to encourage each other to get past them because like our insecurities, what they really are is just like a need to evolve. Like um, if we didn't have ins if we didn't have like subtle insecurities or like um those uh yeah if we didn't have those subtle insecurities then we would feel like we're perfect where we are right now and there's nothing wrong about that in order 
um, to have that self-love and feeling like you're perfect where you are, but you can actually see your insecurities as, like, a benefit. So, like, if I'm insecure about, like, my weight size, like, I can, like, start taking more action to, like, go to the gym to work out. I can start, like, going out to eat more, and, like, I can actually, like, take more steps. So that allows me to grow. That allows me to expand. That uh, gives me a new opportunity to grow. And you know the funny thing about that? Despite however insecure that I feel about my weight size, there is someone, there is always someone that is insecure about my insecurities. So I need to be grateful for where I am. And you should be grateful for where you are. Thank you for watching.